Okay, guys. Uh, so, uh, MMSCT has now released an official mock test, right? So, I'm, I'm I'll be sharing my screen with you. Let's directly jump on the same now. Here we go. So, see, the most important thing is please go through the link properly. I'll post it also uh, on a channel here. Uh, so it is ctcell.mahaCT.org MBA-MMS. Now, where you have to go, that is very important. You have to go on downloads and notices. Right? You have to go there. Then it is all CTs, right? Not MST, CT, Bachelor of Finance, name. all CT, there is a download ka button here. Right, you click on this button and a separate PDF will open. There you'll find for MBA, MCA, beard, everything. You have to click on that link and a separate page will open. Right. So it is mock.mhexam.com. So that is something which you can easily see on your own. So this uh and it's already written mock and password. So you don't have to do anything on this, directly click on login. Right. Now it will come to a different page, just go through that. So it is examining detail. So logically it should show your detail, but it's a mock exam. So we are predicting the actual examination will also show all these things, right? So when you go for actual examination, I think you might have to do it on their server, you know, where you go for physical examination, right? But this is how it will look like. Very important, they've all written everything here. 200 questions. 200 questions, logic is 75 questions, abstract reasoning, which is visual reasoning is 25 questions, quant is 50, in which we have been clearly saying that it is 25 marks, uh, the basic quant, that the quantitative techniques and 25 marks is supposed to be for data interpretation. Verbal and RC together is 50 questions, so it's the same pattern, they're very clearly written here. There's no negative marking, 150 marks, so this is something which students are supposed to know, I don't want to waste more time on this. Right. So, yes, uh, it's all written here. Please go through all these things properly here. This is very important. Next. Uh, two couple of important points here. Exam will be automatically submitted at the end of the time, which means this time you cannot end the exam on your own or directly. End exam, no. It will finish only when the stipulated time is over. Right, so this remember this thing. Mm, okay, so please go through this page properly. You have to accept. I've read and understood this. So this is basically mock. You need to understand this. I'm ready to begin. Click on this. Now, what I really want to talk about is this is the interface which will look like. Now, again, you know, they might have changed the interface. So your actual examination, the mock test which you guys are giving, and this interface might be different. So my point is, please. Take it seriously. Please take it seriously. Isko se de do. T -t take it, uh, give it like an examination. So let's say question number one. It's a number series ka exam uh, uh, question. And let's say the answer I mark is 57. Now I'm not concerned about whether it is the right answer or wrong answer. But if you mark 57, see what it does. Okay. See what it does is important. And See this, this is what I do. I go on next, let's say. I click on next. As soon as I click on next, it shows I've answered one. There is one question which I've not answered and not visited eight. Right, so it shows me that analysis. If I, let's say this is question number two. If I click on mark for review, right? See here, the blue one mark for review is, is one. If I remove this mark for review, it becomes zero. So whatever you do, it will show here is the summary part. How many questions you actually answered? How many you did not answer? Questions you did not visit at all is also being shown here. Anything marked for review. And the last one is very important that yes, you have answered the question. Let's say I answered question number two is 90. Still I mark for review. Still, I mark for you. That means, although I have answered it, but still I mark for you, which means I still have some confusion. Might be at the end of, you know, whatever number of questions I attempt, I would like to review it again. The best part is, you know, the best part is, once all this is done, so you need to click on next. Right, so, you know, let's say I answer, I don't answer this question at all. 
So again, I click next, let's see. So this will keep happening. Important part here is now, where are you clicking? I cannot click on the, the answer which is written here. I have to specifically click on that circle. Then only the click happens. So that is something which you need to understand. Second, you can go to any question you want directly. Question number 10, question number 6, right? And an important point I want to mention is it's written here section. Which means it might happen that it's a section-wise uh, paper, right? So there are three sections which are mentioned here. Four sections, to be honest here. Logic alert, abstract alert, quant alert, and uh, verbal separately. So if it is section-wise paper, fantastic. You can go from section to section. But still, until and unless the first lot is over, we cannot really guarantee Right, so make sure you go through this properly. You know how the scrolling happens, how the answering happens. You know how do you go to previous? Everything go now. Do this, please. Don't expect questions to be more or less same. No, it is not necessary. You know these are mock questions just to show you the pattern and the interface. Right, uh, preferably right after the first slot, we will do a live analysis of a couple of students that how the actual paper went, what the uh, what was the interface like, whether it was sectional or non-sectional or it was jumbled paper, we'll do that analysis. But till that time, please follow this thing. Fine, so this is it from my side, guys. Uh, that's it. Thank you.